Hi guys, this is our proper task guide for the bunker part two. For this task, you have to locate five specific hermetic doors, one for the white bishop, black bishop, black pawn, white pawn, and also one for the king. And then you have to survive an extract from the location. So here's a map of reserve and for this task, you have to go into the underground bunker and hit five different hermetic doors. For the queen building and white bishop, there's only one hermetic door that we can hit. But for white pawn, black pawn, and black bishop, we only have to hit one of the two possible doors for each one of those buildings. All right, guys, so I'm here in the center of reserve right now. This is the helicopter. That is the white pawn. This is black bishop, but we're going to turn around and we're going to go into the bunker from the white bishop building. This is the building that I like to approach the bunker from most of the time, but especially for this task. And the reason is that you can just jump over top of the water. You don't have to trudge through it, become a sitting duck, completely give your position away. Even though they will hear you jump over, at least you can still fight and you will have a lot of right hand peaks. So that is your first hermetic door. Then I'm going to run through towards the white beam building and it's just up these metal stairs we just go up these stairs and then run in towards that and then this is the second hermetic door after this we're going to continue on to the right towards the white pond building and we're going to bypass the stairs for d2 right here and then you have two options this is the first one for the white pond hermetic doors and then the second one we're not actually going to get to because we're going to turn left here by felix the cat and we're going to go all the way down to the basement again once you come out here by the sandbags, you are going to take a right and not go into the main room because we are going to go up here and hit the black pond hermetic door, which is right here. And then we are going to turn back around and go down the hallway. You're going to bypass the second door for the black pond hermetic door, which you don't have to hit that. I was just showing you guys where it was. We're going to continue on this way and then you can hit the black bishop and this is your last hermetic door. There is two different hermetic doors that you can hit for that, but you only have to hit one. After that, I'm going to run down this hallway, turn right and then head towards the control room so that I can turn on the power you do have to survive an extract otherwise you do have to come back and redo this task if you do die so i usually hit the power and then try and extract through d2 provided that there aren't any extract campers so a lot of people hate going down into the bunker so now i will also show you guys a method of doing this task without having to go down into the bunker other than to touch the hermetic doors all right guys so we're back here in the middle by the helicopter and we're going to turn around and go back down to hit our first hermetic door in the white bishop building so basically we're going to start the same way that we were when we stay underground or at least the way that i like to do it the reason for this is that after we hit this first hermetic door then we're going to work ourselves around the map in a clockwise fashion so that we end up hitting the white queen building last and then that sets you up to go and take the sewer manhole or to hit the hermetic door switch basically right away after you hit the last hermetic door that you have to do so right now we're heading our way over to Black Bishop. We're going to go in through the back door and then down this little pathway here in the back stairwell. And if you do get lost, don't worry, because this is an area that you won't normally find yourself going into. So I still get turned around a little bit in this particular building here in the basement. So you just take a right down here and then this is one of the two possible hermetic doors that you're going to hit. But if you are going back up to the surface, then this one here is the one that makes the most sense so that you can go back out this back little way and then you can run along the back side of the Black Bishop building and then out the side towards the Black Pond. This is the way that's going to have you in the least amount of danger, basically, and that you're not going to be shot at by other people unless Gluhar is here and then he will basically laser your tits before you can even get through these bushes. But anyway, we won't worry about that. So right now we're in the Black Pond building and then because we're going to end up going to the White Pond building, then I like to set myself up uh, to get there the easiest way possible. So I make my way along the bottom floor of the Black Pond building and then this way here then we're not running through like the gym and stuff that's in this building and you make a little bit of noise on the wood but i find that you end up getting through the building a lot quicker after that i jumped out through this back window of the black pond and then we're making our way over to the white pond building there is a little break in the wall here that i like to go into and pretty much you're only at danger really from the dome area if you go this way and so i like to kind of go down through this little tunnel this is the way that i normally show you guys on how to get down to the bunker area uh, this is the way that that I like to go just because you're mostly right angle peaks and whatnot. So that's your f second last hermetic door. And then the last one that we're going to go to, like I said, is going to be the White King building. So you head up to the bottom floor and then you're going to sprint all the way through this bottom area. This is the hermetic, the hermetic switch right here on your left. And then we're going to go over here on our right hand side. There is a little jump through that you can do right here that I will show you guys. And then this kind of keeps you out of harm's way as well. You do make a little bit of noise there on the metal, but 
you end up getting through to this graded door, which will signify that these are the stairs that will take you down to the bunker. So you just go right through here and then your hermetic door is just here on your right. And then this is the very last one. So after this, then I will show you guys how to get up uh, to go to the sewer manhole extract or the no backpack extract. And then we will get you out of the map real quick. So we're gonna go out the same way that we came in. So this is that back little exit. If you jump off here, like I said, you can hit the hermetic door switch that's just on your left. Or if you have no backpack, then you can run over here by these fuel tanks. And then the, her the sewer manhole is gonna be just on your right hand side. Hopefully you guys found this guide useful and it did help you complete this task. Thank you guys so much for stopping by and watching the video and hopefully you guys have a fantastic rest of your day.